So I am in Chicago. It is Friday. Boop. And look, my boyfriend got a dog. And he has this dog since November. This dog is like really hyper. For what? Like, I don't understand. Like, calm down. I'm telling the dog to calm down. And I'm giving it love and attention because literally he was behind a cage all night. Like, not a cage, but like, you know, a gate and stuff. <laughs> But I'm trying my best to make make it make sense. I'm I'm trying my best to make it make sense. It's a little bit crowded in this pan, and you shouldn't really cook food in a crowded pan. But I'm gonna try my best. It is cooking. This is basically a raw shrimp. It's not cooked, so I'm waiting for it to turn pink. I'm gonna start on the linguine pasta. <laughs> So I am ready to go to the club. I'm club ready. As you can see, I showed you guys my fit. I'm wearing a top from PLT. I wore this before when I was out here, like once. This is my second time wearing it. But it depends on my feet, but I don't care. And yeah. Lashes, I got it from the B-Supply store. Or 21, of course. Um, I'm wearing a skirt that I got from Nasty, not Nasty, from um, Mystique Boutique. Yes, from Mystique Boutique, I believe, yeah. That I literally just got the other day. Like this is one of the skirts that I, the pieces that I bought on accident, and I'm glad I got it because it matches the purse I'm gonna bring. Oh, hold on, Ducker. The dog is literally like walking around me, so I'm like trying to be careful with these shoes. Um, this is the purse I'm gonna wear, and they match. They almost match the skirt, so why not? That's why I kind of was like driven to get it. Um, and I'm wearing the boots from Steve Madden, babes. I got the boots from Steve. Madden. Remember the shoes I was hype about? The Steve Madden boots are on my feet. Hey. I look so freaking good. Oh my god, guys. I cannot. I look so good. Like the look, everything be coming together. It's like that's why I said sometimes it's good to overpack, but sometimes it's not good to go back. But I look like a freaking snack. Like, I wanna like what? No, I'm that girl. Big up yourself, how well I'm that. Girl, I had to retouch them like when I was again doing the Gary Deal Me video. I had to retouch up, but um, my lace I had to pluck a little not pluck, but I had to like cut more hair, you know, do more like you know, making my baby hairs. I mean, 
I guess as you watch your hair comes out, things happen, and this is how the hair looks. Um, it looks pretty nice, pretty decent. I'm gonna go out in the living room. I'm gonna get out of here. We're gonna take an Uber to go, so that'll be easy for our commute to go. We're gonna be downtown. We're gonna be in downtown Chicago. We already ate like ramen noodles for dinner. Um, we was trying to go out, but you know, it takes a while to get my makeup, so I said, like, whatever, let's just eat ramen noodles and go. We, I did have the shrimp scampi for lunch and I had boiled eggs with um, half a grapefruit for breakfast. Um, I haven't, I didn't drink enough water, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna try to make sure I drink some more. I'm gonna take a bottle with me to go and I'm gonna see if I can take my bag as well. My, another bag with my slippers so I don't have to suffer all night with these shoes. Cause I'm not trying to do that to myself, honestly. So guys, I'll see you guys when we are outside. Cause you can never do my vibe But there is no sacrifice Everything was taken You have to make it Vibe killer Me and no go take shit Vibe killer Okay One of their like specialty honey berry pancake what a berry like oh what a carnivore pancake as well so we're gonna try each other's food um, i'm gonna try his pancakes for sure um the pancake i'm getting is gluten free although i'm not gluten free intolerant but because i do get inflammation or not because i get inflammation i try to like gear towards certain foods that don't cause it like i eat a lot of vegetarian dishes so i don't cause any like inflammation I even had to sub the, the cheese because the cheese they had was cheddar and jack. So I said, can I get mozzarella instead? Because mozzarella and don't call me, I think, feta and goat cheese, those cause less inflammation. Um, and plus, I'm not eating that thing out there that I want. I want to be in your life. So we're gonna 
have to go to the food to go. I can't eat all this. It's a lot of food, y'all. He's trying the berry honey peggy right now. I'm gonna eat halfway of this. Pack it up. He did the same thing. He ate only half of his skillet. That's a lot of food. So that's the plan. You like it? He likes it. of Africa exhibit and the first one I see is a, a sculpture from Guinea um, if you don't know Guinea Mali we have a lot of similar culture as a language maybe as in tradition as well here it looks kind of funny but excuse me oh my gosh. I had the hat on so I kind of got a little you know um fizzy on side I see another sculpture. I'm taking a little seat break because my feet are hurting me. Um, I see some sculptures here from Angola. Um, and then there's one that says here, Angola or Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, a popular and frequent interface mask. A popular, popular and frequent occurrence of a entertainment masquerade. I can't read from over there. My contract is not that great. Okay, um, represents a female ancestor, but it always worn by a male dancer. Interesting. So this is always worn by a male dancer. This mask type symbolizes, can't even see guys. So it represents a, a prominent role of a female. No, you're okay. I'm trying to read it. Also idolized and features are such as the legend of a portrait. So basically this mask represents a woman, but it's went is worn by men. Can't see guys. Interesting. And they have like a little image of how the man would look wearing this kind of mask. But it would always be men. Men dancers, men masquerades. So guys, we passed the Yoruba exhibit part, or the Yoruba sculptures. We passed the Igbo. I found some Dogon. Dogon are people in Mali. Um, there's some Burkina sculptures right here. Burkina Bay sculptures. That's how you say it, right? Burkina Bay. Burkina Faso. Um, some, oh look. Bamana, look TJ, my people. My daddy's family. So guys, we are at the Starbucks Reserve Rotisserie. I'm on the fourth floor. This is like a cocktail bar. And you know, I was excited. I love me some espresso martini. They have a lot of variations of it, I guess. They are using different ways of making coffee liqueur and all types of coffee flavoring. They have a really full bar. I see I see sauce yellow and green. I see a lot of coffee liqueur, amaretto. Just looking at, I see a Macallan. 
the Glen Lip. I'm not saying it right. It's a full bar, basically. It's a full bar. Looking forward to trying all their cocktails. She just handed us the menu, so I'm going to scan it and check it out with my phone. And I'll be back once they start trying these cocktails. Do I never pull up to the mat. You know I gotta bring the set. So you recommend to us? We have original Starbucks outside. We have five in the city right now. So we have pretty good margaritas. The Lakeshore, the mango margaritas, just popped up for like a mini cocktail. And we have the finest sandwich, which is like a matcha margarita. Hey, yo, Eric, bring them girls to the stage. Cause somebody's getting paid. Free big slime out the cage. Shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed. Cause every song that I made. We just got our our pastries. This is a baroque. Apparently, I am not classy enough because I don't know what this is. You really been to it, so it looks better now. And then the other one is a cinnamon roll. No cinnamon roll. I'm looking at it because it's over there. So it looks like shit. Oh, it's hot. I knew it. I was saying it. Is it like a hot tally for her? And it is hot. I'm not. I'm holding it. So it has like um, nutmeg, I guess. So I'm explaining what it is. So it's a brandy reserve espresso with apple brandy, luxurito, amaretto. So we love amaretto. Amaretto is very sweet. Vanilla bean syrup and cream and cinnamon. So I get the cinnamon powder. Now I'm not going to I'm wrong. It's cinnamon powder on top. I'm gonna get a video of it soon and show you guys. It's so pretty. I'm gonna wait till the other drink comes so I can have test so can do that. Actually, I'm gonna I left my other phone at home. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Very nice. I definitely taste the gum. The apple, the apple brandy in it. Tastes really good. So guys, I'm gonna give it a shot and try the the, the final day one. And it has a luxurio berry and the garnish. It has matcha powder, a little bit of it for the color. This is a lot of pasta to try. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it all, but this is not that bad. This is pretty sweet. It's pretty spicy because that amaretto. Hey y'all. So we're back at the crib. We've been here for an hour, um, just like talking and watching F is for Family. I don't know how I'm really into it. It's kind of like Family Guy. Um, I'm gonna get ready now, just touch up my makeup a little bit, touch up my hair and get ready. We're gonna go to a place called Kitchen and Cocktails. He's been there before. Ooh. I know y'all see what I see. I'll fix it later. He's been there before with some friends for uh, a birthday like gathering, birthday outing. So we're gonna go there tonight. I'm gonna wear a dress with some boots, my Steve Madden boots, a different Steve Madden boots. Finally, gonna wear the, new, the other new pairs that I'm not that crazy about, but I got them just cause my other boots were damaged. Um, I was able to get some more pictures after um, a couple of like, after begging him a couple of times. Oh, my hair looks so crazy, y'all. But I'm gonna like touch up my hair, touch my makeup a little bit, just add some eyeliner, touch up my skin. And that's really it. There's nothing really to touch up. This makeup is still looking fresh. I'm looking a bit oily around my T-zone and nose area, mostly my nose. Yeah, my nose, not my T-zone. My nose is looking a bit oily, so I'm gonna touch up that, touch up my lips. Add some blush, maybe more contour, but other than that, I still look great. Probably just gonna brush my hair, maybe flat iron here and there, but not too much. And I'm gonna get ready, guys, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So glad I decided to come here, even though when I was seeing things on TikTok about it. Maybe because it came on like a snow night, we got like the opportunity to try the food. It took the food to take a while to come out. 
but I also think it's because it's fresh food. It's not fast food. It was really, really good. Really good. I'm trying to finish the, the Swiss salad. I got a mac and cheese. I got um, a catfish, fried catfish. He got, um, you got fried or grilled pork chop. Grilled? You got grilled pork chop and mashed potatoes, and we're sharing the side salad. So I just felt like, at first I didn't order the salad, but I was like, I have to add it to make it, you know, a meal. I'm so sleepy, guys. Like, this food is putting me to sleep. You know when they say soul food puts you to sleep? This is making me go to sleep. Like, I'm so sleepy. I don't know what's in the fried, the, the fried coffee that makes me tired. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'm at the airport at O'Hare, so O'Hare, yeah, I think O'Hare. And I'm gonna just say, have a good night, everybody. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching the vlog, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm all the way back home, and yeah.